Hello floss tube, it's Amber Rogue Mama Stitcher and this is floss tube number 58. It is Wednesday, June 12th, 2024 and um, I uh, wanted to update you on all the stitchy things I've been doing. Oh, hello. Oh, hi there. Apparently this kitty wants a part of it too. You want to come up here? Where'd you go? Come here. Hi, Ray. Come here. Come here. There you are. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this girl. <laughs> look at this is a big one. Hi. <laughs> okay. I love when she wants to say hi. All right, so um, I've got a lot of starts and I have a couple whips that I have been working on and um, I have some haul, I have some stitchy kindness, I have a shout out and um, yeah, so I've got a lot um, for you today. Um, all right, so I think I'm just gonna start out with, um, let's see, well, First of all, I do want to tell you that I didn't tell you my life update last time, and I um, would like to. So, um, hold on. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, this cat. No, now you want all the attention. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. Um, my husband's just right in the other room, and she always. It, she's his cat. Go cuddle with him. Go cuddle with Peter. Oh. Go cuddle with your daddy. Okay. Sorry. Um, so uh, my two uh, boys graduated the year that they were in, in school, but my oldest actually graduated high school. So every time he got his diploma, every time I walk by his diploma, I'm going, oh, thank goodness. And then, um, our youngest, uh, our 12 year old, he graduated fifth grade and one reason I started working again was to, um, you know, pay for his schooling. So um, he actually has a scholarship starting um, next year. So that's pretty exciting. My husband was like a Barracuda one after that, um, you know, just to make sure <laughs> um, he actually got that opportunity when the school um, you know, kind of, I don't know what it was, but like, kind of like became a vendor of this particular scholarship, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, um, so hopefully that'll be, uh, really, um, you know, it'll pay off. Yeah, my, my youngest works really hard in school and just loves school. So, um, hopefully that'll just continue and he'll keep being able to get, um, scholarships. So, Anyway, I'll just keep working because, um, you know, they could, we could use the money and I could, I, oh, the cat keeps rubbing on the tripod. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just spit. Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, and I could use the money for my stitchy stuff and I've been really enjoying being able to get some, some uh, more stitchy things. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, like lots of starts. I got a few whips. I got some haul, stitchy kindness, and some shout outs. I don't know if I said that. I've done a couple takes so far. Ah, okay. So hope you're all doing well. Hope you've got some stitchy time in. Get settled. Get your beverage. Uh, get your stitchy, um, you know, projects and, you know, get comfortable. I don't know what's going on with her. Why do you need my attention so much? You never need my attention. Okay, so my first whip that I'm excited about, and for whatever reason, Peaky Blinders. I don't know. I just want to stitch on this when I'm watching Peaky Blinders. This is one of the only ones I did not iron today because I kind of forgot about it till just now. But Strawberry Season by Yasmin B. With Love. Isn't that sweet? Oh, I just love Stop it! Iris, stop! So I'm stitching this on 28 count uh, Zweigart uh, Glasgow linen flax and um, you know Weeks Dye Works 
Fancy Floss and some AMO um, Substitute for DMC. So I just love it. I believe last time, I believe last time I maybe was right here had stitched all this. And I believe I've added the strawberries and an, or a strawberry and another flower and more of the leaves. Um, so yeah, isn't that beautiful? Two over two. Ugh. So with the variegated floss, I use the English method of stitching where it's one X at a time. And anything that's a, um, you know, just a regular um, floss, not fancy floss, not variegated, um, I will just do the Danish method and just do rows, um, you know, one leg and then, you know, finish that row and then the other leg finishing, um, you know, well, going back and finishing the cross on all of them. So, yeah, I love it. And this, um, this is what they'll look like. When it's all done, isn't that sweet? Oh, isn't that precious? I just love it. So, yeah. So I love it with the linen that I chose. Um, I, I like the linen on the, the cover model. Um, also, I like that it's like a little more pink, um, but I think this one is really pretty too. I just I really have enjoyed the uh, just this unfolding. And um, here's my clay by Kim uh, needle minder. I think my friend Karima um, gave that to me a long time ago. A galaxy far away. Just kidding. And um, we're still, <laughs> we're still friends. <laughs> um, okay. So and then I don't know if you want to see, but my project bag that it's in. Oh my gosh! It's sharing. It's sharing with another um, another piece that I didn't make any progress on, but I don't know if I've shown you. I think I have shown you these. Yes, I have. I'm certain I have. But yeah, this is my, they're my floss drops. They're getting a little, little raggedy, the flosses. That's okay. So pretty though. This is going to take forever. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you all this, all the goodies that I have with all my stuff. So I'll try to resist. <laughs> so yeah, there's my, oh, isn't that pretty? And then with the bag, oh, I just love this bag. It's so pretty. Okay. Put it away. Put it away, Amber. Okay. Um, all right. So then my other whips are the Shores of Huffron Hollow. Honey, what in the world? Okay, you got comfortable. She's on her bag. She's good. She she's, gets real comfortable if she gets on a bag. Like a, a shop, like a plastic grocery bag. I don't know why. She's a strange kitty. Okay, so my next whip is uh, Shores at Hawk Run Hollow, or Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, and let's see. And there's my progress. Um, can't remember the, where I was last time, I'm sorry. Um, I believe that since last time, I believe that I have finished the whole lighthouse. I think maybe I was here and then have finished these things like the just you know finished the lighthouse and then started on the rock um, but yeah maybe I had finished the Sun at that point I don't remember I'm so sorry but isn't that I love the Agnes little minder needle minder and then the fabric I'm stitching it on is grace notes fabric um, see fermata and it's this is a fat half a 27 by 36 and it's a 32 count linen and it's just a dream to stitch on look at that look how big that is look at that I feel I feel like a genuine stitcher when I'm holding this and stitching on this I mean I can't I mean I am but <laughs> you know it's like some of the projects I watch people tackle I'm like oh my gosh you know and then I finally I'm like I could do that. Why am I not doing that? I'm like, don't be intimidated. Just work on it for years. It's fine. We can do this. Anyway, so light the way. Come what may. Love that. Beautiful. Okay. And then the, I'm going to be kind of reaching down and grabbing stuff out of my bags. Um, I might be pushing pause to find some of them. All right. So 
So here it is. So that's obviously the square I'm working on. Jamie at Teeny Weeny Stitches uh, was working on that square. And um, I believe Emily at 12 House, House Creations, I believe she was working on this as well. And, and I think some others, um, some other people are working on it on those two, on those two. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful work, um, Emily and Jamie. And so just love this piece and you know, I'll just keep plugging away at it. And let's see. Nope. Oh, my dried flowers. Okay, and the next uh what is um also a sal that I've been working on. Um it is called Frog. And last time, I believe I had just finished the green in the rainbow. So um, I've um, started on the blue. So, so I'm stitching this. It's called the Frazzle Frog Sal. And I'm stitching this with um, Allie at x dot wait v dot x stitch dot files um yeah on instagram she's not on boss tube so this is what it uh, looks like when it's all done so as you can see i am very very close to getting started with this cute frog it's just called frog it's um by ally let's see katie abby she's on instagram and hoops and crosses charted it also on instagram so yeah, and then this is um, Fiberlicious, Yummy Fibers, um, and let's just see, what is the name of that? I'm trying to remember, let me get it. It's a really cute name. I remember that. Do you see what I see? But spelled like the ocean, so really cool. Um, and it is uh, linen, and it's a 32 count. And yeah, and I'm just, I mean, easily I could just keep going on this, but, um, you know, I, I think I just get kind of bored with like one color. I, I don't like to have confetti, but I need to be able to like switch off to, you know, somewhat to stay, uh, mentally engaged, I guess. Like I start going, oh, I'll start falling asleep. <laughs> it's too much of one color. Anyways, um. And then um, also Erica at um, Fibers and Floss Canada on Floss Tube and Fibers and Floss on Instagram. She is stitching this and has made more progress than I have, which is awesome. And she's stitching this on an 18 count black Eda. And Allie is stitching this on, I think it's like a light blue or medium blue uh, linen, I believe. But I can't remember or an even weave but I can't remember for sure what the name of the uh, fabric was so please forgive me Allie um, this mind is not a steel trap all right so um, I just had to sneeze um, it's always my favorite um, all right so um, Oh, and I didn't say, everyone knows this already though, but by uh, the shores of Hawk Run Hollow, or by, it's by Carriage House Samplings. Okay, and then, um, and then I'm excited because I have some uh, new sales that I um, have been doing uh, with some friends, new friends, old friends. And, um, you know, I'm like, I did, I did my intro, my, but I had to, you know, get rid of it because I just, went on way too long but um by opening my my drink like with like panda stuff because i think it's so like cool it's like kind of like triggers your mind to like you know get settled and and start uh listening and stitching and stuff with them and so i did that and man i'm kind of sad i didn't keep it but anyway so um my new <laughs> that was random but so um with my new stitchy friends uh marion and fanny um, and their handles are, um, let's see, Marion, uh, underscore fate, F-A-I-T, underscore D-E-S, and then underscore petites, 
at p-t-i-t-e-s underscore c-r-o-i-x um i just think that means um basically marion cross stitch the cross stitcher or, or something like that anyways i don't know uh, very French, um, <laughs> and Fanny at cross underscore stitch underscore couture. Okay, so we um, started this uh, sal called the Floral Hen, and it's just hashtag Floral Hen Sal, and um, it is by Nath Nolu, Nath Nolu, um, and I'll show you, you know, the, um, the cover model, and you'll see. And so this is um, this is my start with the floral hen, and oh, it's so pretty! I love it so much. And this piece is the fabric I'm stitching it on is by the Northumberland Sampler House Anita, and it is a 28 count parchment linen. But there you see my start. Let's see why it's called the floral hen, right? And I'm stitching this with AMO, CXC, and DMC. Um, three over two okay so just gorgeous I just love it I love the colors I just love it. it's just so it's so sweet and it's just so colorful and peaceful and I just love it I it's you know they're colors I wouldn't normally like pick to stitch I think um, but I mean I just love the combos that these designers find I think they're just uh, it's you know it's really cool to see what they can what they come up with uh, Creative, creative wise, creatively. All right, so I will show you the cover model, what it will look like. And there it is, it's so cute. See, that's the name right there. Yeah, so thank you, Fanny and Marion, for um, joining me uh, with this and for all your enthusiasm. And I'm just so enjoying getting to know you on your floss tube. So go check them out at the Soul Stitchers on Floss Tube. And I gave you their Instagram handles already. And then I bought this. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you haul um, when they're project bags, especially throughout the episode. But this is the project bag I just got to go with this and any future chicken um, pieces that I do, most likely. And then the inside. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. There's the danger right there of doing that. Um, and then I've got my really pretty um, clay by cam that I'm using right now with this piece. I believe April also, uh, Curry Mall also gave this to me. Whoopsie daisies. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, and it was fine, and I'm going to show you the label, little tag that came with the fabric. So, really pretty. Proof. Proof that my clay by Kim is fine. See? It looks great. All right. So, there's that. Um, could keep that tag out because I, I just sliced and diced the... Um, the Northumberland Sampler House <laughs> fabric because I just love it so much. I had a, such a big piece of it. I believe it was a fat, a fat half. Uh, well, 22 by 27. But yeah, so definitely used a lot. It, or it on a lot of pieces. I've um, basically used the entire piece that I had on, on different, um, different pieces. Um, uh, different designs, I, I guess I should say. Okay, next, next sal. Uh, so this sal is um, the tiny modernist. Um, it is the spooky teapot, and I've uh, started this with Emily at uh, my twelfth house creations on Instagram. Not on, not on Floss Tube yet. Maybe one day she will be. And this is uh, stitched on a 32 count Wichelt um, tumbleweed linen. And I got this from 123 Stitch. And this is my meager start. Oh, actually, I'm like super proud of the start, but it isn't, you know, it, I guess, uh, you know, comparatively to the 
uh, finish size, it's a kind of a big start, but I love it so much. And, um, you know, the fabric is just, uh, you know, really fabulous. So, all right. So I am very proud of these floss drops that I got from, um, the Mary Crow. And, um, I just have like AMO, CXC, I believe I have kind of all of, uh, DMC kind of have all of them in here I think so those are my colors for the piece and I just think they're fabulous I love them um, and I think they could just go great on the tumbleweed so yeah very pretty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The greens aren't showing up great. I know I'm holding this upside down. Sorry, I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. Okay. And so, um, finally, there's uh, the model, and I just think it's adorable and beautiful and spooky all at once. Um, so yeah, Tiny Modernist, definitely, uh, getting my attention lately. And then, um, I was inspired by one of the Primrose Cottage ladies at Stitch West who had this. She, you know, plopped down next to me and, uh, you know, grabbed out like one of her, uh, whips. And then she had, uh, also had this one with her and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? And I hadn't seen it yet. And so I was just, you know flipping out over it and was like, I have to get that. And so, um, Emily, uh, is really a big fan of Tidy Modernist as well. And so, yeah. So anyways, these are the Mary Crow floss drops that I got at Stitch West also. And I just love them. I love the autumn. Yeah. It was just, I went and raided her shop for a while and I knew I was going to get several and yeah. So it really goes with the spooky teapot very well. So I'm super happy with my progress and um, yeah, so I'll just keep updating you and stitching with Emily and um, and Emily's stitching hers on uh, guava and also um, witch ult. Um, just, you know, like this one is a witch ult also if I didn't say already and I did say tumbleweed. Um, but yeah, so hers is guava and honestly like hers looks more like the... Um, the model like than this but I like I'm okay with it I love this um how it's turned out and um you know with the colors um but yeah so I love to you know I said it you know if you've watched my my floss tube before I always say how much I love to see the different versions of the same kind of pattern but they're different tastes and this is the project bag that's now um sharing um with Tiny Modernist because it's too perfect not to share uh, so yeah, uh, my other autumn piece, my, uh, shabby autumn calendar. <laughs> so yeah, and with a project bag I got from Stitch West also. Yeah, I really, I really splurged there. Okay. Okay, next. So my next, um, start and sell is the Spring Forest scrapbook that I started um, that I'm, um, hosting, the sal I'm hosting with Mary D. Dream Stitcher, and that's my progress. See, I got some of the sun done. Isn't that beautiful? I love that the variegated floss on the sun is so pretty. I love that. So, so pretty. And, of course, I could not help myself but to get that, um, purple flower done and the ladybug and Mary has finished I believe she's finished the raccoons the square in the middle with the raccoons or almost done with the square but done with raccoons I think and it is so precious so adorable and one thing I love about this piece is how it's a collaboration um, between uh, Lindy stitches and the blue flower and so it's every other square is the other designer and there's a variegated uh, floss uh, border on this middle square, and that's by the blue flower, I believe. And then the Lindy Stitches, I believe is the 
uh, ladybug with the sun. Like the Lindy Stitches ones are a little more um, kind of like bold sort of cartoon type of, I, I love it so much. Like um, I really, really enjoy both of these styles together. And um, yeah, so let me see, um, just to make sure I'm not misspeaking about whose is whose. So let's see the blue flower. Yeah, the blue flower is the raccoon, um, you know, center um, square on the top. And um, Lindy Stitches is like kind of just, oh, the like, kind of like the sweeter, kind of cuter like animal pieces. Like the, I really am looking forward to the uh, Lindy Stitches lens. Um, well, I, I love the blue flower ones. It's kind of hard, like, I'm, I don't need to choose, you know, which one's my favorite or anything, but I just love them anyways. Like, I just, but I thought, oh, I can't wait to get that one. I can't wait to get that one. Well, I could just, like, kind of see the different styles, but also they're very similar. So, and then, like, that snail on the blue flower, I really look forward to that. And I think that bear just lounging is so cute. Okay, and then the two together... Um, look like this that's how it's gonna look that's my that's the final product there and I just adore it so much and that's why I was like Mary <laughs> let's do this please join me and she's like yes let's do it I uh, love it you know and here's my project bag also that I got at Stitch West that I just adore with the strawberries okay <laughs> And this fabric is um, from the Crazy Hamster. It's like a light kind of lime green, uh, 28 count Lugana. And you know, if I if I could turn back time, I'd probably get a, a lot of the Luganas in 32 counts instead of the 28 counts. Because um, I really like the coverage of a 32 count, which I think most people really do. Um, you know, with two strands, you could do a loop start and all that stuff. I mean, of course, unless I would do variegated without a loop start, I, you know, anyways. Um, so that her name is, uh, the crazy hamster is also on, uh, Facebook. She's on Instagram. Um, so it's Oksana Lopatina. Lopatina. Okay. Um, she's amazing. Uh, she does to die for pieces. I love her hand dyeing. She is great. She's great. No pun intended on that. Um, so yeah, I, uh, absolutely adore, adore this piece. I had a lot of starts to get to, so I didn't get as far on this square. I really want to get to the grasshopper and to the daisy that it's on. So I'm super excited about it. Um, it's just that so many pieces and so little time kind of thing. That's more my problem. Um, and I don't know, you know, and if you want to see the colors, like this could take a minute. Um, I apologize about that. Um, now it's like kind of, yeah, and I did a, a variety of, um, what I'm using. Um, you know, my, my flosses are, um, you know, like DMC, they're, they're AMO, they're, um, I don't know if I did CXC at all in this one. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's quite... I love it. I, I It's quite interesting. It's an interesting array, and there's Weeks Dye Works in here. Um, you know, I just, I really, um, just the variety of everything it keeps me interested. Um, you know, and cross stitch is meditative, meditative, meditative to, uh, for me, and um, mainly, but also like it is interesting to me. Um, you know, it's mentally stimulating, um, as well. So, you know, if I can kind of get, get the relaxation, but also keep, you know, interested in what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, it's goal, um, goal met. So. There we go. So, yeah. All right. So those are my cell starts, and now these are just my regular starts that, um, you know, I just, I had to start. And uh, most of these, in fact, I would say all of these I've been planning for a while, some longer than others. Um, so 
please bear with me um, as I make sure that I'm uh, staying organized and, and showing you um, the right things in the right order. Okay. Um, not necessarily in the order that I started them, just, <laughs> you know, that I'm showing you, anyways, the coinciding uh, patterns with my um, actual fabric and starts. So here is one of the starts that I, I did, um, and it's on that Northumberland Sampler House 28 count parchment, and it's just, oh, the linen, it is just, I don't know how to convey through the camera, like, how amazing this texture is, how wonderful this fabric is, um, but yeah, so I, I, I couldn't make up my mind, and I did make a post on Instagram about this, but if you don't look on Instagram very much, or, you know, you, you more like are looking on floss tube, I want to explain this, because I've had this piece um, by Noctiflora uh, Designs. Uh, her the designer's name is Gretchen. I've had this for over a year, certainly. Um, and uh, let's see, yeah, she's she's had this design, Noctiflora Designs. Um, she's had this released since 2022. So I have had I don't know how long I've had this, but a while. And um, here's the here's the design. It's Franken flower. And uh, the I could not for the life of me make up my mind on how I wanted on what fabric I wanted to start this on. And the Northumberland Sampler House uh, fabric won out, but not before I contacted Gretchen and I uh, just in an act of like absolute desperation of like I could not make up my mind and I'm like please help me, <laughs> you know, what do you think about this fabric and then another fabric? Because I said, I, I picture this as like a universal monster inspired, like poisonous flower, obviously, um, you know, so I'm looking at these like kind of the sepia and then this like black and white and obviously like the noir, the, the black and white of it all is just, and I don't know, just something about it, just this, like the parchment and then the black and white contrasting on it, but then also this kind of, you know, this, um, you know, light brown or beige and then this like kind of electric sort of, or like, like, um, you know, radioactive, but kind of yellow, and then like that toxic waste green and all that go, it'll just, it, oh, just the color combos were just so much for my brain. Um, so I had this fabric also, um, cause if you, if you follow Noctiflora Designs, uh, Gretchen, sorry, <laughs> on um, Instagram, you will see that a lot of her toxic, uh, poisonous flower designs are on uh, you know, fabric that is extremely just beautiful and bright and exciting. And so I had this, uh, fabric already. Um, I don't know if I bought this to go with the Noctiflora designs. Um, uh, let me see with the Frankenflower. So this is by K Lux Fabrics on Etsy, this piece, and it's a 32 count. And of course, like I said, you know, the other is a 28 count linen and this is a 32 count Lugana and so I just I just kind of struggled you know between them and she said okay she was so gracious and she was so kind and she pretty promptly got back to me and said well what you could do like is start without the frame without the stripes and all that without this you know without all this and just start on the actual flower and you could just do it on the bright fabric I think you know that's kind of her jam you know it's just the bright fabric and um, so I did, I started that uh, on uh, this fabric and it was a meager start, but I just had to do it um, if I was gonna feel good about it because this fabric is, I've just been eyeing it forever for that. And I, this is the uh, Bride of Frankenflower and I'll show you what that looks like too. And it's kind of hard to, and so I'm gonna stitch them side by side on this particular uh, very bright neon fabric. Um, so, but definitely had a strong start on the parchment because, I mean, that's really, you know, once she said, you know, just start it on the other one and, and take out the frame. I'm like, but I love the frame so much. <laughs> what she designed is so gorgeous. So that's the Bride of Frankenflower. So I will, uh, these are actually not that big. Um, 
speaking of, I haven't even been sharing the design signs, uh, sizes with you. Ah, oh my gosh. Oh, well, you, hopefully you just can put up with that. Um, so on the 14 count, um, you know, like the 28 count, um, the design finish, uh, for Frankenflower and, uh, Bride of Flick Frankenflower is five inches by 6.6 .6 inches. And so then on the 32 count, the finish size will be 4.4 4, um, times, or sorry, by 5.8 inches. So really pretty small. So just side by side, they're gonna be really cute and I might just separate them and put them in uh, separate finishes. So I love these so much and um, I think it's gonna be really beautiful. So kind of started the Brighted Frankenflower also and only started on that bright fabric and then on this one I just started uh, Frankenflower. But see this piece that I said I sliced and diced up, it's going to fit Bride of Frankenflower easily. I swear, this seems like it's a bigger, I have, I have my measuring board here. Oh yeah, let's see, it's okay, it's probably like 26 long or something. Or 25 anyway oh, I hope I'm not being too random and yeah <laughs> anyway so those are my uh, Noctiflora starts and go check out Gretchen if you haven't already um, and her Instagram she's fabulous her designs are fabulous and I was really um, just impressed with um, her opinion and like kind of getting back with me and just being just really, really cool to me. Um, you know, even though I was kind of randomly popping up out of nowhere <laughs> to ask her, how do I start your piece? How do I start your design? So, um, okay. And then, um, I started a piece and, oh, I forgot to iron this one. Darn it. Um, called the, the Gabby, like, hold on, the Gabble Sisters. This is by Abby Sue Designs, and it really disappears on the white, obviously. Um, so I love this piece, and I got this piece a while ago, and um, I just had to finally start it. I kept eyeing it and eyeing it, and I, I couldn't forget about it. And um, this fabric is um, a 36 count, and it is color and cotton. And it's called Renaissance, and this is from Lucky Chance Stitcher Amanda. She sent me this for my birthday, and um, I just barely kind of got started with that um, that top middle design. Um, it's a flower, see, and I just love it. And I will I will make progress on this one day. Um, but there it is. So two by two, uh, or two over two rather, on this gorgeous linen. Um, I just had to get started with it. You know, you can only eye something so much <laughs> until you, you know, start it. I mean, it's just silly. And I should show you the colors, but I really haven't organized this very well yet. Um, so yeah, but there's my scissor fob. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, from Puri Ma from April. Um, she made the, she makes really beautiful scissor fobs, really creative. Um, yeah, so Let's see. Okay, and then my next start is um, one that I have shown before. Let me see. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not telling you um, like finished sizes, and I am so sorry. Like, it's just it's it's already like 40 minutes in, so. Okay, this is my this is my next start, and this is the last one on uh, parchment uh, by Northumberland Sampler House. So, man, I got like every bit of what that fabric was uh, <laughs> had to offer. I think with you know with all these starts. So there it is, and this is called um, Cornish Folkies, uh, and. Here it is. It's basically it's pole dark, <laughs> and it's by uh, River Drift House Needlework, riverdriftneedlework.com, 
and the original um, kit has a similar color of, um, of fabric and is just the 14 count uh, Ada and I'm just not gonna enjoy that so um, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on this on this fabric I'm gonna stitch it on this so there's the colors on the fabric they're beautiful Don't look at the foam board, it's ugly. There we go, that's better. So, love that. Yeah, so where I got started, and then I'm just stitching two over two, and I think it's really gonna look pretty, it already looks really pretty, but so I started um, right here. Yeah. There. So on the waves on the top, and then that heart on the top. So originally I saw this on the Cross Stitch Bunny channel with Lauren. Um, she has great taste in kits and um, she's got a very wide variety of, um, of pieces that, that she likes and she and I have a pretty similar taste also. So I'm normally uh, going, oh maybe I should start that when I watch her. So. so yeah, thanks Lauren for introducing that to me, all those months or years ago, I think it was years ago, and then the finished size of this piece of Cornish uh, Folkies is 12 by 9 inches, so, and it's really just fun and simple, and um, I definitely get into that and really go to town on that at some point in the, in the future, hopefully near future, that I won't drop it, um, and then a pretty, just a simple, simple project bag this time, um, Okay, what else, what else? Okay, and then this one I was talking about quite a bit and I'm excited to show you, but also a, a little bit ashamed because it is a very small start. Um, maybe I shouldn't be ashamed, but <laughs> oh, I kinda am. Um, so, I started this on, let's see. Oh, now I'm kind of wondering which way is up. Oh, I think I do know, okay. so. <laughs> This is um, this is my start for the Three Little Pigs um, by Veronique and Ginger or Ingenue, and this is a fabric that I got off of Etsy or sorry eBay years and years ago, um, and it was just pretty kind of like a random a random fabric um, that didn't have any kind of um, specifications, and it also was. Um, it washed out every bit of color uh, when I washed it once I got it. So I don't know what was up with that. Apparently they didn't know how to do color fast, whoever did that. I'm looking for the, the model picture of this. This is the book it's in. Uh, Fables and Fairy Tales for Cross Stitch. And it's just all Veronique and Ginger. So that was Fables, the first bit of it. Ah, here it is. So I think why I opt to not show you the book is because the pattern's just right there. So there's the model uh, piece. It's just really, really pretty. And so there's where I started on that top wheat. Right there, straw, you know. So super cute and I love fairy tales and this is such a great fairy tale, great story. So yeah, I will get somewhere on that, but I just kept looking at it and going like, I really want to start that. And so I just needed to finally bite the bullet and just do it. Okay. And let's see what, um, let's see if I can find the finish piece. Maybe I'll just, Okay. So it's like 130 by, by 120 um, on a 32 count, so. So yeah, like I said, meager start, but it's a start. 
And I think I just didn't have like all the colors uh, yet. Um, I think I'm missing like one color. And so I kind of just didn't, you know, didn't keep going because I, I want to get that and then I can continue because I was at, sort of at an impasse of the color I started with and the next color was the one I didn't have. So I didn't really want to try to count and go, you know, kind of take a chance that I didn't start uh, or that I didn't uh, count correctly, I guess. Okay, and then uh, a start I am very excited about and it is a small start, but also I am actually really proud of this one. Um, it's just gorgeous. Um, it's the Sagittarius by um, Nora Corbett. He, um, you know, the zodiac sign. There's the fabric that it goes. Oh my gosh, isn't that freaking fabulous? Nicholas Flamel. Oh, that really turns out great. There's a play by Kitty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a 36 count, and I'm stitching with all called for uh, DMC. And uh, Karen Water Lilies, two over two. Look at that. That is just a top center start. Okay. So, just gorgeous, gorgeous. And you know, it's a it's a it's a slow start, but I am proud of it. I think it's beautiful. Um. So, this is the piece. So Nora Corbett knocked it out of the park with her zodiac pieces. Um, just absolutely in love with this and my project bag for this. Beautiful sharing with the Native American angel with this piece. And I uh, just love that. And then the design size um, for this piece is... I know it normally says. Doesn't it normally say? Yep, here it is. Um, so it is 88 width by 147 uh, high. Okay, so it's like five by five or five and a half by 9.19. Okay, there you have it. So gorgeous. Um, Bear with me here. I'm actually kind of going a little faster than I thought I would, so that's good. Making good time. All right. And then, and I have been using Book of Days, which I'm also excited to show you. Okay. And then my next start, I am extremely excited about. I had, I've had this in my stash for a while, had it kitted up. Um, for a while and just had not started it okay so here it is it is uh, hands across the sea samplers and this is a uh, Heather Jardine or Heather M Jardine 1933 um, just absolutely beautiful this is a 28 count uh, Eva Obahor I believe that's how you say it um and it's a 28 count even weave bamboo cotton and linen combo so yeah and i'm stitching two over two on this um it is hard to convey just how um just gorgeous this is um like the colors are gonna be but yeah this is what i i stitched on all day yesterday i mean i just barely had time for it to show attention to any anything else because I was just loving it so much but here's the piece Heather M. Jardine 1933 and um, yeah hands across these samplers and I, I was just watching Erica Fibers and Floss Canada and she was just talking about hands across the sea samplers and you know just basically the founders of that and how wonderful they are and what a wealth of information they are and I have not watched like their floss tube or you know their videos um you know not not because I don't want to just because I kind of just you know it hasn't been on my radar to watch uh, that much um floss tube really lately um but I, I mean I am watching the people who um, I interact with and the people who um you know stitch similar or interested um in the similar things 
So um, anyway, so I, when I first saw this piece, it was by Zebens uh, on Instagram. Uh, she is, she, um, and I think a couple other people, there was a stitch along, I believe it was last year, where a lot of people were changing the colors, the original colors to this piece, um, just, you know, for their own, like kind of maybe more tropical, New Zealandy type of colors. And so I followed suit with my own and mine are all in floss away bags right now and they've been like messed up. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be the prettiest, but it's, so for my haul, I, uh, I has, I'll just show you like what the colors that I chose. That's, see, that's not doing it justice, but these are all DMC colors. Um, and uh, they're all like these kind of variegated rainbow type of colors. And um, I just got this bag from uh, Sheba Designs. I, it's a tulip pink design, uh, or fabric rather, um, the fabric combo. It is pink hamsters <laughs> on yellow. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. So um, she made, uh, Melissa at Sheba Designs, she made two, um, two custom bags for me. Um, that are 14 by 20 because I wanted to be able to fit my Q-snap in there and not always have to take my project off the Q-snap, but look how beautiful she does. I mean, what a job she does. She is just, she's a, a wonderful. Um, and it just looks so perfect with, with this piece, the Heather M. Jardine piece. So, um, so you kind of get the point um, that I'm doing, um, you know, this variegated uh, DMC, variegated thread, uh, floss, with this and it is just gonna turn out gorgeous it already is turning out gorgeous I just oh, I'm just dying over it I just love it I just could not stop yesterday um yeah and so the only thing that is not DMC variegated um, is a live and die LA and she was actually at Stitch West and I don't think I got to meet her I think I might have seen her walking around but uh, Live and Die LA, and it's called Taste the Rainbow. Um, I got this a while back when she, you know, was selling on Etsy, which I believe she, I'm sure she still is, but sorry, these, I, like I said, I've been using this, and so I didn't, didn't show it off <laughs> before I just took it apart, took, took everything apart, and I've been using it, so there, though, you kind of get an idea, and that's what I'm going to do um, that's what I'm going to use for this, um, non-brown part of the border. And then just the little, the little bits that are yellow right here, the little X's that are yellow under the brown. I will use that, uh, the, you know, the taste of the rainbow for that. And I'm pretty sure I'll have enough, but isn't that beautiful? I'm sorry, like, that doesn't look beautiful like that. It's, but, you know, that's the closest I can get. <laughs> um, but yeah, just one continuous... Uh, rainbow, you know, uh, and hopefully, and this is not a huge sampler, um, but here's like a kind of what the DMC variegated, they're all like that basically, just lighter and darker and, you know, same color. So let's see, I was going to find, here it goes. Okay, so the, um, there is, sorry. So it is 160 by 150. There is more to it, but I have chosen to just do, um, you know, the 160 by 150 without um, adding what's on the bottom. There was, it's not th this, but there's like an added um, piece that they include on the bottom. So yeah, I, I love it. And I think the snail, I'm going to do like variegated green, uh, for maybe his body or something and then like maybe the variegated brown for the shell I, I don't know it's gonna be so beautiful I'm just excited about it so you know obviously um, so yeah super excited about that and then just the whole history that hands across the sea samplers includes for this piece um, that I have actually shared in a, a previous floss tube when I first got this um, and it was that Heather Jardine's um, father served in World War I under um, the Edward, the Prince of Wales. And there's the picture 
and her father's this man right here and you know Prince of Wales right there and yeah it's just really cool how she includes that history uh, how the hands across the sea includes that history so yeah I'm I'm uh, I love it and so with this beautiful haul this uh, project bag um, Melissa sent a mouse <laughs> Um, and like a bear and the fox. I love the stickers she sends. She is very thoughtful. So thank you, Melissa. If you're watching, I don't know if you watch Floss Tube, but the fox, really sweet. Um, yeah, so if I put some of my stuff back, I don't want to ruin it. There we go. I hope I don't come across as disorganized as I'm feeling. So I will be putting this back on the Q snap very soon, probably today. We'll see. There's one more start that I have to show you that I am thrilled about. And that'll be my other Sheba Designs bag that's with that. Okay, it is the Tiny Modernist. Zodiac signs and I got this um, I got introduced to this by um, the Hugo Stitcher Samantha and uh, You know, she just showed those colors on this fabric. I believe I even got the same exact fabric as she got um, <laughs> It is gothic um, by picture this plus and it's a 32 count. I believe she has maybe 40 count that she's doing this piece on and um, like I, I'm not interested in, in uh, doing a lot on 40 count um, I am okay to have it a, a big you know like a bigger piece um, you know not uh, you know not a knock on anyone or anything you know um, just more like that's pretty small for me and I, I do enjoy like plump stitches and things so anyway so that's the piece and it's a fat or it's a half yard um and so actually i'm going to be able to lop off about uh t i think 10 inches maybe because it's um it's a 26 by 35 inches and um i just want to make sure i'm not misspeaking here but i'm going to um make sure that i've gotten all the way across um width wise before I do any cutting whatsoever. Yeah, I think it's 10 inches that I'll be able to cut off. So I'll have, I'll have about that much to there. Length, you know, and height wise as well, extra of, you know, from this gorgeous Gothic fabric. And there's my start, it's a center start. Um, you know, just stitching, uh, it's a linen, you know, a 32 count linen. And so I'm stitching two over two and I just have to basically have this very close to the light. Um, otherwise I won't see the linen, um, weave separate from each other. So here's the project bag that this is in. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Melissa. She, the Tula pink uh, fabrics that she chose are just to die for. I love them so much. And I got my rainbow scissors from TU in there. And oh, it's just beautiful. And uh, you know, the, if I wanted to make the Q-snap longer, I definitely can do that in that bag. And there's the, um, you know, the cover photo for that, for Zodiac signs. And the, you know, the, the design piece is um, you know, it's going to be about night is 18.75 inches by 16.25 inches. Um, so let's see. So it's, you know, it's pretty big. Um, a lot of stitching. Um, so it's 262 high by 303 wide. And the first piece that I'm going to stitch is going to be my husband's sign. It's the Pisces, 
I'm going to do that before I even stitch the sun. I already have a sun that I'm stitching on, or that I already just stitched, very similar, uh, on the shores of Hawk Run Hollow, but I'm super excited to stitch those Pisces. Aren't they cool? So I'll probably stitch about right here, start with that, and I think this is BMC 894, and I am using AMO, and I think maybe one ZXC, but yeah, I believe that's 894. Yes, so very pretty pink color. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you my floss that goes with this. I mean, Samantha just, you know, knocked my socks off with this um, when she showed this on her channel last year. Um, but look. Oh, I didn't have flash drops too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like just gorgeous colors. Look at that. I love it. And the floss drops I got from Mary Crow, the Mary Crow, uh, Lorinda. Um, and these are just gorgeous too. Look at those. Oh, so pretty. I've shown you these before. Look at that, the mushroom one. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then there's ones that I don't have floss on, but I want to show you anyways because they're so cute. So there you go, and um, I, the charm I'm using uh, for this is um, from Stitch and Shorty, and she goes to a lot of retreats, and um, she is friends with a lot of people that I know, and um, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to use her charm, um, <laughs> so here it is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this as a screen grab or not, but look at those beautiful colors. There. Oh, it's very, it's kind of awkward, but I love it. I love, I just had to show it all together and I'm just, I'm delighted. So, yeah. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I'm just, the colors with this gothic fabric. I literally was, the moment Samantha showed it, I just went, I have to have it too. <laughs> it's rare that I really like go, go for something with so much passion, but it was just too beautiful not to. So super excited. Going to start that Pisces right there. Yep. Yep. And go all the way across and all the way across with the frame, um, you know, with the circles. Um, you know, just to make sure I'm in the right spot after that. So, yeah. And probably get that off of there. I just put this away. But really excited for that. Um, and thank you for putting up with me and not sharing the design sizes earlier <laughs> for pretty much any of my starts. But one more time at the beautiful bag and just I love how this project looks so yeah okay I've uh, been watching Amanda uh, Lucky Chance Stitcher with her um, she has like this uh, she has a microphone and she, when she talks and when she's like unzipping her bags and um, looking at her haul and things like that, there's like this AMSR kind of quality that goes with her, with her videos. And she said something about it last night when she was uh, going through and organizing and doing, uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Uh, Cause I was just like stitching and just going, just, just almost like a little manic stitching, I think, um, last night. <laughs> Um, you know, just kind of getting those three days off and being like, I'm going to get as much done as I can. I'm going to relax as much as possible. Um, but yeah. So, you know, it really got me in the zone of like listening to all the beautiful like project bags and uh, like the product of like a, a pattern being opened and, you know, all that kind of thing. So, um, okay. And then I have haul next. Um, and let's see, and then I will, I will show you some mushroom pieces, some more that I did not show you last time, and I have some stitchy kindness to show you. Alrighty, so, um, so with my haul, I am going to show you 
Um, I got this from 123stitch and it took a minute to get here. So I, I actually was excited about this a while ago, but I just couldn't show you until today. So it's the Quack Quack Hong Kong by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And I think a lot of people have been enjoying this and, um, you know, I, I just love it. And I do intend to stitch this one day. Um, super, super cute. I'm super excited to have this in my possession. It kind of goes along with the whole farm chicken sort of thing I got going on lately. Whatever's gotten into me, I don't know. And then the Lily Violet. Uh, oh my gosh, I wrote down what it was because, or typed up what it was because I knew that I'd forget what it was in Italian. Um, it is Eggs and Country Chickens. This is what that's called. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it is so charming. Isn't that charming? That's one of those things I probably will start sooner than later. I love it. And I could see making it into a pillow also. So. Yeah, love it. And I love the Instagram account, the Lily Violet um, Instagram account. Oh my gosh, and I can't remember. There's an Instagram user that always stitches this designer and I just go just oh it's like wonderful it's such a um a, what is it called like it's aesthetic euphoria <laughs> um actually literally with the uh zodiac um the zodiac piece from tiny modernist when Samantha was showing all the colors with the um gothic fabric that's what I had I had aesthetic uh euphoria <laughs> Aesthetically pleased the you for you. Anyways, okay, so another Lily Violet um, piece is called Snow uh, Stories. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cutting off some of it right there, which I don't like, but the little small version doesn't cut it off. But I love this, how this turns out. And I, I think I just do these pieces probably on like kind of a raw linen, like that glass gal that I tend to love from Zweigart. Okay, and then um, these designs, patriotic um, designs, I believe a, a person from, a designer from Hungary. Um, I, I do see patriotic designs quite a bit and, you know, like the primitive patriotic designs and I do, I do love them. I do love to look at them, but I just think like what I enjoy stitching that, but I think I would really enjoy stitching this. And this is by Seb Rosa Designs, um, Stars and Flowers. I just think this is really cool. I love how it's done in a diamond design. Um, so, you know, and it's probably on a, you know, um, yeah, it's Vintage Country Mocha. And I do think Vintage Country Mocha is beautiful. And I have stitched uh, quite a few things on it, uh, that fabric before. But I, I just really like kind of gravitate more toward like raw linen, I think. Um, so, and then the next one from Sabrosa Designs, um, is Long May She Wave. Oh, and I actually am pretty patriotic. Like I do love the United States, uh, of America. I love my country. Um, but I definitely, uh, am a live and let live kind of, kind of gal. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I know some people are pretty triggered by patriotism um, to whoever, to whatever country. So I just kind of try to stay out of that kind of stuff because I think it's stupid to kind of get into that when it's supposed to be enjoyable about cross stitch and about your passion for craft or art. So anyways, but I think these are beautiful and um, it really, these really spoke to me. And then this one the 1776. And actually, like a while back when I was, um, you know, uh, teaching in the homeschooling co-op for my youngest, um, actually, no, this was for my oldest in this class. Um, we did a whole series on the um, Sons of Liberty, which was like a, a spy network for um, George Washington. And I thought it was pretty uh, an amazing story of, and these guys were just like totally badass, like, I don't know, like the, um, you know, like the Adams brothers, like Samuel Adams and, um, you know, uh, John Adams and like, he wasn't part of it. Samuel Adams was, but, um, but yeah, like many, many of the like founding fathers and, and things and like, 
I'm trying to think if Paul Revere was part of part of it, but it was some very famous key people that were part of the Sons of Liberty. And anyway, so 1776 makes me think of them and, you know, like, it was pretty awesome. So kind of makes sense. You'd have to have a spy network to be able to become independent of the most powerful nation on, um, in the, um, on the planet at the time, <laughs> which, you know, and I love, I love England and I love British people and I love the history and I'm extremely attached and, you know, like I, I am a Anglophile, <laughs> so nothing against the British at all, uh, or even the history there. Um, you know, anyway. Oh, I forgot, I just realized I forgot to show the charm that was on my other bag. Okay, so this is part of my haul. Um, the uh, Chandel's um, Etsy, on Etsy uh, business owner. Um, just these bags were actually pretty affordable, these project bags. So I got the other one that was like the farm theme. But look at the pretty charms. Oh my gosh, it's a little rabbit, so cute. Um, and just this little Easter bag was really, really cute. And I had to get, I think it was only $25. Pretty standard <laughs> size bag and everything. And um, look at the inside. So, you know, just pretty, pretty standard. And it's just beautiful. And I didn't have to make it. And so it makes it even better. But this is the um, design that I want to put in there. I have had this magazine for a little while. And I got it specifically for the Easter um, designs there. So I don't know when I'm going to start that. But... Definitely putting that on the linen, that's really pretty too. So I believe this is a green leaf and ginger also. Um, but yeah, so there you go. A little plans in there, flashy little plans. <laughs> um, okay, I need to show you that charm on the other one because that's just, that's just not, not cool not to show you the charm on a project bag, right? Uh, if I can find it, where did I put it? If I can find it, I will show you. There it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a rooster. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so check her out. Check that shop out if you like what you saw there. Um, okay, what else did I get? Oh, and I just got a bunch of teeny scissors again. So, um, and I've been using Tammy Roop's, um, like, adorable little, like, Oort bag or, you know, that she, Oort catcher that she gave us. I don't know what, what to call it. Like, a little bin, a little cute cloth bin. Um, and I got these, like, scissor guards, like a pack of them off Timu. See? Do you like my little bow system? Yeah. Thought made it in there. Like, putting, putting things on floss drops. These black scissors, I just love these. Um, very cool. Um, and I, oh, yeah, more haul that I got was from the Cross Stitch Guild. I got new needles. I don't know if I, I've used, I got uh, 30 of them, and I've used a lot of them. This is one of the 15 per bag. So I think the other one, I might have all 15 left still, but I love these needles. 24. A uh, gold needle, like 24 is the size, and they're gold. So, that was my other haul. Okay, now to Stitchy Kindness. Um, let's see. I got from Carolyn K, or, Car yeah, Carolyn K. Jones. She sent me more truffles, and she sent me this beautiful gift bag, and such a sweet card, and, um... She sent me these beautiful scissors uh, and this cute bag. Look at the cute card she sent, too. Oh, so sweet. And apparently my package came back to her. I don't know what happened. Um, but she asked me, like, what is your address? And I said, it's this. And she said, well, that's the one I used. So that's weird. But look at that beautiful scissor fob. And I've been saving to show you this, so I haven't used it yet only because of... Um, because I wanted to show you first. Never give up. So, so pretty. And then, um, like the little, um, can't remember what they're called, but to get the, um, like when you frog to get the fuzziness off your fabric. Um, those, <laughs> I think my cats try to eat that bag or something. I think they, anyways, 
So such a pretty scissor swap, I love it. Yeah, really cute scissors with like the guard. Ooh, ooh, those are sharp. Okay, um, so thank you so much, Carolyn. Oh my gosh, like beautiful. And the truffles are gone, you know. She sent me four truffles and I had to share one with my husband. I had to wait till he got better to give it to him. So I've been saving that for a while, the huckle huckleberry truffles. And then the other, she sent me two huckleberry truffles and then two, like, I think fudge, maybe something like that, or hazelnut, maybe. Oh, they were amazing. Okay, and then, um, let's see. Then um, Emily from my 12th house creations blew my mind and sent me a bunch of a stitchy kindness. Uh, oh, like it, I think it was last week or a couple weeks ago, and I've just been wanting to show you so badly, and, you know, I've just been saving it. See, that's what I do with my stitchy stuff, is, like, instead of using it right away when I bought it or I got stitchy kindness, I just have to hold on to it so I can show you first, then I'll go crazy, <laughs> and put it in all my things and incorporate it into all my plans. So here's the card that Emily sent, and, um... She sent me the guava. Uh, this is from, um, you know, it's Witchelt, I believe, right? Witchelt? I believe so. Oh, and it's 36 count. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. 36 count. It's so pretty. Um, and, you know, I could, I definitely will use this for something. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a tiny modernist piece on it. I don't know if it's kind of showing that kind of sweet, sweetness of it. Um, but it's definitely like a lighter kind of um, green, not so much brown in it as the uh, tumbleweed that I ended up getting for the, you know, for the spooky teapot. Okay, and look at this. Look what she got me. She got me um, the Halloween terrarium and the Valentine terrarium. I just, I don't even know how to say, like, how freaking awesome these are. Look at that skeleton in the ground. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm like shaking. Okay. Valentine terrarium, just beautiful. I think I probably put this on a pink because that's what I'm like, I guess. I like pink. And then she sent me the floss pack for the Halloween terrarium. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Look at that. Is I mean, Emily, you are a, a darling and an angel, a cross-stitch angel. <laughs> so there it is. And I just love it. And I mean, look at these colors, like how they look beautiful on this um, guava. Just beautiful. Ugh. I love it. So thank you so much, Emily. Um, as usual, blew my mind. Um, yeah, so super grateful for that. And um, let's see if I got any other. No, okay, I think that was it for Stitchy Kindness. And um, then I wanted to do a shout out and just make sure that, um, that uh, this person gets the shout out she deserves. Um, so it's, um, Jen, a Jen's fiber web on floss tube. And she also is on Instagram. Um, so she has a great variety of stitching, uh, and, you know, definitely has a lot of my taste and things like the primitives, but also like apparently things from like dimensions in 1980s. Uh, I just saw her. Uh, you should check it out, her um, Mid-Year Whip Parade. Um, it's, I believe it's her fifth floss tube, or is it 15th? Oh, I, I can't remember. I think it might be her number 15 for her. Um, but anyway, so um, she uh, recently, so she joined me and Mary Daydream Stitcher on the Spring Forest scrapbook sale. She was the first person, I believe, to announce that she was going to join our sale on floss tube. Um, so that has been great to have her stitching along with us on that. And um, so I was just in her uh, whip parade. She showed this 
Dimensions kit from like 1986, I think, called the Woodland Babies. And it is beautiful. And now I want to find it myself and start stitching it because it is so pretty. And it's adorable. And I love it, like woodland themed things, obviously. Um, so yeah, so go check out Jen at Jen's Fiberweb on Floss Tube. She is awesome. And thank you, Jen, for your uh, mentions of me and of the uh, Spring Forest Scrapbook Sal. Um, yeah, so um, I wanted to also show you my book of days, and then I wanted to show you my um, more mushroom things, more mushroom-themed items that, uh, you know, uh, patterns that I have that I guess I forgot to show you before. <laughs> um, okay, so book of days. I'm going to show you that first, okay? And uh, hopefully you won't be offended by... <laughs> by a couple things. So anyway, so here's my June book of days. Look at that for the spooky teapot. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's so pretty. And lots of mushrooms, woodland, and oh my gosh, look at that deer. So cute. Oh, and the bird, like spring forest scrapbook. And yeah, I just love it. Yeah, beautiful, right? Oh, I love these stickers too. Um, yeah, so snail, snail things, right? See, that's what I said. Don't be offended. I just think it's funny. <laughs> so you gotta be, you gotta be cute and you gotta be sweet, but then maybe, maybe to make sure you can protect yourself and your family, um, but not necessarily by that kind of thing. If you know what I'm talking about, um, just symbolism of protection. Um, let's see. So here is uh, the quote. Uh, when you, when this you see, remember me, though many miles distant you may be, saying from the antique lusterware pitcher. And then it is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. Sampler verse. Oh, and did you see frog and toad at the bottom there? Oh, I love frog and toad. So cute. Okay. So some of the stuff I'm not sure if I've shown you before, and I'm, I apologize if it's things you've seen before, but okay. So some mushroom um, items that I hadn't shown you before that I had wanted to show you. I just, you know, they were somewhere else, I guess, is the Woodland Fairies by Stitchy Princess uh, on Etsy and Stitchy Princess Black on um, Instagram. But I thought this was so pretty and I got this a while back. But mushroom themed. And then this fabric, it seems like a witch alt. Um, it's a 28 count water lily. Uh, the fabric that I chose for this, it's like perfectly matches almost the cover model. So yeah, really, really pretty. So yeah, um, I've been saving that for a while to start. Then I have this kit, or it's not a kit, a pattern that I got from 123stitch with mushrooms also. Um, Nimu, uh, let's see, Fairies Coprinus. I think this is French. Very, very beautiful. I love the sepia. There's another one I, th I think I have or just wanted to get that's kind of part of this pair or series also on 123stitch. And then this one, oh, this, I can't believe I forgot to show this last time. It's the Mushroom and Fern Chatelaine, but look at that. And this is, this is the big one. This is the one I've been saving up to get. Um, I'm going to get it from Eurostitch, uh, Maggie Kitchy Whips, uh, Instagram and Floss Tube. Um, she said, she gave me the advice a long time ago to um, kit this up with Eurostitch because they do a fabulous job and they don't overcharge. And, um, you know, this would be a, a pretty penny, arm and a leg, right? But um, instead of putting the fabric through Euro Stitch, I think I want to um, get, um, oh my gosh, Kaylee uh, Tent Stitch. Uh, I think I want her to dye me a special piece of fabric for, for this, for Mushroom and Fern. I have spoken to her about it. And I also am, I believe that I will get her, uh, you know, she, she said she would be willing to, uh, you know, commission her basically to uh, make a project bag for this because 
it's going to be a lot of, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of, what do you call it? Like supplies, you know, to, and, and I don't want my bag to be overflowing. I want to be able to like have the bag like browsable, I guess you say, like you can look through it and you know, there's going to be space to find what you need. It's not going to be crammed and everything flying out as you're trying to, to look through and find what, um, what you need in there, what supply you need. So it's super pretty. I love mushroom and fern. Um, had my eye on that for a long time and Maggie Kitchy Whips has definitely been part of that, uh, <laughs> inspiring me to start a Chatelaine. I saw Chatelaines a long time ago in like 2005, I think, 2000, something like that, um, at a stitching group uh, at Diane's Cross Stitch, uh, you know, watching them, uh, the ladies that were at the stitching group stitch mandalas, and I was like, dang, that's a lot of work, but, um, and it's, but it's so beautiful, so I finally found something I would really want to do, which is the mushroom and fern. Anyway, so then I have this Riolis kit. Definitely has some mushrooms in there. I just have so many mushroom things. I love them. And I'm not sure what this is called, but it's pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Northwest with the, uh, you know, where I'm from, with the tree stump and the bird and the ferns. Lots of ferns where I grew up. And the last thing is not mushroom, but it is strawberry and it's a beautiful uh, magic needle kit. And I do want to stitch this one day and I just love the strawberries and I love the bumblebee and the daisies. I just think it's gorgeous and I will definitely, if I do stitch, oh, it's called Summer Fantasy. But if I do stitch this, I would um, put that on my wall. And if this has Ada in it, I, yeah, it's Ada, I will not be using Ada. Anyways, um, I will use Ada for some things. But So thank you for joining me. I think we hit everything we needed to hit today. Um, and, um, you know, I hope that, uh, you have a great, um, you know, month. I probably, I should be seeing you in July. Maybe I'll have started those, some of those patriotic pieces, especially the, the diamond one, uh, from Sub Rosa Designs. Um, you know, maybe get some progress on, um, more of my starts and, um, the sales. So, um, love you all, uh, take care and happy stitching.